welcome Virgo. We are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with, okay? And using the divine directions, we'll be looking at that. So whenever you see this video, Virgo, is, you know, the right time for you. Also, Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards and the Light Seers Tarot Cards are what we will be using to look into things for you. So let's get into it, hey? Wow. Let's just, okay, Virgo. <laughs> Three cards for Virgo, please. Here we go, two cards already. Can't see what they are yet because they're, there we go, upside down. So this one came first. Meditate. Reconnect with your inner spirit. Walk, practice yoga, meditate, or listen to music. There might be other modalities, Virgo, that work for you. So use those. It doesn't just have to be those four, okay? Um, but definitely, I think it's it's the, the reconnecting with your inner spirit that is the most important thing there, okay? Teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching? Mm, interesting, okay? And trust. Trust in your intuition in what you are feeling, sensing, seeing, or experiencing. And sometimes that can be the hardest thing to do, right? So the meditation is going to help you with that. And the other thing that I'm also just seeing is writing down, like jotting down things that you get, even if they don't seem like anything or it doesn't make sense to you, still jot them down because at a later date, you might come back to that and you'll be like, oh my gosh, I, you know, that makes complete sense to me now. Or there might be certain links that come along in the future that you'll be able to see how, you know, the bigger picture is playing out. <clears throat> okay, so Virgo, let's have a look here. Give me, okay, first card for Virgo. Thank you. Interesting. I just wonder if some of you are needing, ah, hang on a minute. There might be something that you're holding on to that needs to be let go of. Okay, because we've got snake and it says shed old skin. And um, to, this is the thing, right? It's natural for a, a snake to shed its skin. It doesn't need to be told. It knows when it's time to do that which is why I'm just wondering if there's the sense of you needing to be told in a sense because yeah this this feels like there's something that is being held on to and I noticed that the snake here it's like the snake needs to go forward out of the circle but it's getting all bunched up in the circle here. And I just wonder if there's some sort of um, fear about you propelling forward. You know, this um, with this Meditate card and also the Trust card, I wonder if there's a part of you that doesn't trust yourself and this need to connect with your inner spirit, reconnect with your inner spirit, sorry, This may help you to move forward, okay? Um, I feel like, too, that as you do that, Virgo, you know, talking about noting down everything and noting down, you know, the things that you get and whatnot, it might actually pay for you to start keeping a journal because as you go through this time and this transformation in your life, which is what I feel like is in the waiting for you if it's not happening already, you will then be able to use that knowledge and use your own experience to help others in the future, okay? And this is what I feel like this teach is here for, okay? So... Give me two cards for Snake for Virgo, please. Too many cards. 
two cards for Snake for Virgo. We've got the Page of Pentacles here. I love this. I love this. I'll just get the next one. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we've got the Page of Pentacles first off. Okay, and um, there's this sense of you getting the feel for something, like actually... And it, it's sort of like learning to fit into your new skin type of thing, right? Or learning how that works. What does it feel like? What can I do with this? How can I make this work for me? What What is the... Um, not benefit, but sort of like... What is that? It's like, how am I going to be able to utilize this new me to take me into the future to propel me forward in a way that's going to be beneficial for not only yourself, but other people as well. Okay, um, yeah. And the interesting thing about this is that this person is standing in the same position as the hanged man. But in an upright position and, and the eyes are closed. So I guess I feel like there's a need for you to kind of be potentially a little bit more aware of other people's position, of how changes are going to impact other people. And maybe just be compassionate a bit you know compassionate about that okay it doesn't mean that you have to not make the changes that are required for you but just um hold some compassion okay the other thing is that's interesting it also reminds me of the wheel wheel card and so you know this is you and you know not at the bottom of the wheel this is you coming up to stand at the top of the wheel here virgo and um, I really do feel as though you reconnecting with your inner spirit is going to help you transition through this period, okay? We have the Queen of Wands here as well. And yeah, as I was saying, you know, this is you learning what it is inside of you, getting used to this new skin, Okay, this new skin of yours, letting go of all the old things that do not serve you. Um, and, and when I say that, I actually mean about the things about yourself. Really um, kind of do a bit of a self-evaluation in a sense, if you can, if you haven't already, um, to see what it is that you can change what it is that you can come away from and you and, and start to um, go forward with that is going to carry you to building a really solid foundation. Okay, um, yeah, and the Queen of Wands here, yeah, reconnecting with your inner spirit is going to help you, Virgo, to see what it is that is within you it's going to help you to see that there's been a period of time where you may have been relying on outside forces to light the way for you there's not been the faith within yourself that you could do that okay and um, I kind of feel as though now 
now is the time for you to step into this space of understanding where the light truly comes from. It doesn't come from the external, it comes from internal, internally. Okay, the other thing that I'm just getting here with these two cards, it's like this wheel here is the same as this. And, and while you can't, it's, it's kind of like this is a an X-ray vision of what's going on inside of this wheel. Okay, and it's sort of like standing there and focusing on turning the wheel to the point because it's it's sort of like everything has to be in in alignment in order for the snake to move forward and it's kind of like there's an exit point and um once once it's turned to the point that um opens up that exit the snake can then move out of this ring here out of the wheel Okay, and that's what I feel like is happening here, is that it's just waiting for that to be turned so that, you know, this is sort of this impeccable timing, right? So that you can get out of whatever it is that you're in in order to move forwards. For some of you, this may be a career. This may be you actually um, moving towards another career. And, you know, obviously that change can be scary. Um, and I just wonder if some of you are holding that information to yourself until the right time. Um, the other thing about that is that the familiar can be comfort comforting. You know, you could be in that comfort zone where you're like, oh, do I really want to? Because this is comfortable, even though, you know, there's no growth in it anymore. Um, it, that comfortable can, you know, feel more appealing than going into something that's not known. Um, so, you know, this is about this trust, right? Trust your intuition because this has been calling you to make this move. Okay, and look, it could be anything in your life, be it a relationship, a move of a home, um, anything along those lines. Okay, so we've got the next card here, which is mountains. I knew that was going to come out. I didn't know that card was going to come out, but I knew another card was ready to come out. I feel like I need to have one more shuffle just to see if the next one after that will... No, not yet. Okay, so mountains, stand your ground. And I feel like this is um, also saying that, you know, whatever is reflected on the outside is coming from within. You know, there's, um, and, and this, you know, is about reconnecting with this inner spirit, right? So that whatever it is you bring up and out, is about this inner spirit. It's not about what you think is best or about what everyone else is doing or what other people want or what you believe is best for everyone else. This is about you, okay, because you're the one shedding your skin. You're the one reforming and recreating, okay, and, you know, understandably, Virgo, at the beginning of shedding that skin, this new skin it's brand spanking new. It hasn't been hardened by the elements. It's a lot more sensitive and a lot, a lot more delicate to its environment. So also remember that too. And remember to be gentle with yourself. Okay, so, and, and part of that is creating boundaries, right? Standing your ground and kind of saying, that isn't working for me. You know, take your time to stand back a little bit and, and reflect and say, is this really what I want? Is this what is going to serve me? You know, or is just this just because this is what everyone else wants, right? So, yeah, tell me more about mountains for Virgo, please. Tell me more about mountains for Virgo. We've got death, death and rebirth here.
Next card for mountains. One more card for mountains, please. For Virgo. There it is. The full. Wow, this is pretty big new beginning. This is this is like we've got death and rebirth and the full. I'm interested to know what's going on. You've got shedding your skin. This is the thing, I suppose, with shedding the skin. Things have to fall away. Things are, uh, There are things that, you know, you may have to leave behind um, that cannot come with you on this journey. And that, that, can, be, that can be tough, you know. Um, but there's this real sense, um, with this coming up on withstand your ground, there's a real sense of need for this. This cycle is part of your evolution. It's not just like, a, um, you know, I don't think it's something you can really pass up, to be honest. It's it's pretty huge in in your um your path your journey of this lifetime. With the full card here, hang on, sorry, I'm just been taken back here. This also is about cycles, okay? Always in every cycle, when there's a new beginning, there's always a death, okay? You know, when the forest burns down to, you know, create new growth for the trees, um, it's sometimes done in a really harsh way. Um, interestingly enough, the tower isn't here. Um, but, you know, I want to say that focus more, if you can, on the rebirth and see what is ahead, okay? Because there's no face here. The only, the thing that is here is this guiding star in this forest here, which is fully formed. And I feel like this is saying to keep your eye on the prize. You know, let your focus be on the vision of what it is that you want to create and what it is that you want to grow. Because that is what is important here. Because with the full card here, it kind of feels like there's a bit of a freeze of moving forward like oh do I really want to do this I'm not sure I really want to do this you know um but but look at what you can grow you know and um you know the full is about taking a leap of faith but also the full you never actually see the full having stepped off the edge stepped off that um cliff face you know it's sort of always frozen there and um, yeah, I really feel like this is important for you to let go of whatever it is that you do not need to take with you. Only take the basics of what you need, what is relevant to the journey, not all the old stuff that was you know, their prior, okay, um, we have autumn, oh, see, release the old and rest, <laughs> I love this, okay, so, yep, you might need to take some time to just, you know, actually settle into this intuition here, because, you know, this is coming under trust, to trust your intuition, Trust in your intuition in what you are feeling, sensing, seeing or experiencing, okay? So that rest is going to help you to do that because if you're busy looking, you know, forward or, um, you know, looking at what you need to do to create this new beginning, sometimes we can lose sight of what is going on inside, okay? And this is really important because it's sort of come up, well, it hasn't sort of come up, it has come up twice here. Reconnect with your inner spirit and trust your intuition. Okay, really important right now. And so this rest and um, releasing the old, because this old stuff, this old skin may very well be um, blocking this intuition from speaking. And when we say speaking, it's really about uh, feeling it because the intuition is felt. Um, 
yeah so and and you know what it's like it's it's like with the um trees right in autumn two cards for virgo for autumn please in autumn the trees shed the old leaves right it's not holding on to them it knows they need to go in order for the new ones to sprout and be created to start the cycle again it's a natural cycle and that's what i feel like is happening for you it's a natural cycle of your evolution it's also a crucial cycle of the, your evolution and um this crow sitting on one of the leaves it's like it doesn't want to let go of it okay so this is where it's really important for you to make sure um and the fact the crow is there um i feel like the crow because in this card yes yeah, see the crow represents swords here um and I feel like maybe for some of you, Virgo, you need to um, voice, you know, it, it could be that you go and get seek some counselling out um, or go and talk to some trusted friends about how you're feeling about this change in your life. Because even if it is something that you want, it can still be, you know, something quite big to deal with, you know. And we've also got the Six of Pentacles here. Okay, so... Um, this is you receiving what it is that you need to help you along the journey. Okay, this is, um, yeah, I, I feel like there's um, a sense of maybe for you, Virgo, feeling like there's not enough. But I feel like you have everything you need in order to go into this cycle. Everything that you need will come to you as you go along this path, okay? And it might not seem like you have enough, but in fact you do, because that will continue along the road as you travel along. But the other thing I want to say with this Ten of Swords here is that, um, you know, the ending is done. The 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 because this can also represent, you know, um, the death of something, um, and with the ten of swords in the traditional right away deck, the swords are already in the person. It's not like it's happening; it's already happened. You know, not like the tower card where it's yet to come generally, or it's um, it's in the process of it. You know, that's the motion of the card. Whereas the Ten of Swords, it's already happened. And so that's what I feel like is this need to let go of. Don't take those swords with you because they have no place in your life. Okay. What have we got here? The Eagle. Oh, we've got two cards here. We've got the Eagle. see from a highest perspective yeah that's interesting because you know with this being the hanged man and that can you know um what i was talking about before with that um the other thing with the hanged man this is really interesting because you know the hanged man especially with the crow here and releasing the old right the crow um the crow you know will be on the eagle and you know peck at the eagle um the, but the eagle pays the crow no attention whatsoever what the eagle does is it flies to its own heights and the crow can't actually breathe at those heights because it's an altitude that the crow is not designed for it's only an altitude that the crow can uh, that the eagle can reach and that's what I feel like this message here is that you need to go and rise to your heights, okay? Not to the heights of, of where a crow can reach, but to the heights of where an eagle can reach because that is your ability and you have the capacity to do that, okay? And... um and I don't feel like this card was meant to come out because it was stuck to it. So, yeah. 
I'm going to put that back. But yes, I feel as though um, when you do that, all these things that keep niggling away at you are going to drop away. Okay. Tell me more about Eagle for Virgo, please. And also, this is about this reconnecting with the spirit. You know, there's an eye down there, which reminds me of the third eye. So this is really connecting with that higher power, that your higher self as well. Okay, so we've got the two of wands here. And this two of wands here is representing a decision that you may need to make. What direction are you going to do it? Go in. You know, for some of you, you may be at a crossroads and you're not too sure which way to go and you're just pondering that. So rising to these heights of the eagle is going to help you to see the way of a little bit clearer and stand in your power to say, this is the way I'm going and you're not going to hold on to, oh, should I have gone that way? Oh, maybe I should have. You're going to know that, no, this is the direction I'm headed in and I'm I'm cool with that. Okay, three of swords. Yep, the pain has been done. It's it's this healing, this healing that is may still be going on. And, you know, it, it has been really, really hard. Still things are being t stitched together. Um, but it's walking away from that now, you know, and that doesn't mean to say that you don't need to do any healing anymore. The healing may still need to be done. But that's okay. You can still go forward. Some of you, I feel like you're delaying it until the healing's done. But to be honest, I feel like this is part of the healing is you moving forward and proving to yourself that you can indeed do it. You don't need to wait any longer. You get, you know, that proving to yourself, um, you're going to show yourself exactly what is inside of you, okay? Oh, we have the seer. See beyond the current situation. Yeah, love this. And that's like this rising from the heights, right? Um, to, you know, this is also is about you creating your future. What is it that you want to create? You know, actually seeing and visualizing that for yourself and moving towards that. You know, it's not, it's, it's, it's magical, but it's also um, doable by act, taking action. Okay, not just sitting there waiting for it to come to you, going out and getting it. Going out and getting what you deserve. Yeah. Okay, so two cards for Sia, for Virgo, please. <clears throat> And, you know, I feel like to see beyond the current situation is to take yourself out of that. And um, there we go, two of cups. Look at this. Beautiful. Um, yeah, see, this could even be a new relationship for some of you. But it, Okay, I need to take those two as well. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. We have the sun and the star here. Right, so this actually was in this order here. <laughs> this is gorgeous, Virgo. Look at this. You know, you you know, at some point you have not been able to see, you know, what it is that is there for you. You know, this is this is hope and faith and and success and fun and having all this everything that you could wish for there right there for you everything that you could wish for okay this energy here is not going to interfere with this energy here no way right it can't because this is set in the stars yeah we have some major arcana here Okay, this is minor arcana. Okay, and I'm not minimizing whatever it is that you've been through. But see, uh, you know, rise above and see the bigger picture here. Okay, because this is what is there for the taking for you. Okay, and the last card here we have is Hermit, Retreat and Recharge. 
Yeah. This will also help he with the healing, but it will help with the shedding of this old skin because I oh, seriously, <laughs> Virgo, this is what you have here for you. So the work is worth it. You know, it's showing you that that this is what you can aim towards if you so choose. You know, if you do the work of releasing the old and, and moving away from all that, accepting this rebirth, right? Accepting the new beginning and knowing that, yeah, sometimes the journey is going to be rough. Of course it is, you know. Um, but boy, oh boy, ultimately, we have the lovers here as well. Wow. Wow. This is what is here for you. You know, and this is you coming together with yourself as well, right? Reconnecting with your inner spirit, trusting your intuition, trusting what it is. We've got the Ace of Wands here and we've got the King of Wands. This is something passionate. This is amazing. This is a new beginning in something that is absolutely incredible. You know, allowing that in internal fire to be ignited. Yeah. And really, really getting into it, like loving it. Okay, don't set the forest on fire because, but you know, sometimes the forest has to be burned down for the renewal to happen. Okay, but I feel like you are going to get to the point here, Virgo, where you are going to be basking in this absolute glory of the passion of what it is that you have created. Because you have moved forward, you have let go of what it is that you needed to let go, and you have absolutely claimed your future. So go for it, because this looks incredible to me. So yeah. Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.